What's happening everyone? My name is Alex and welcome back. In today's video, we are checking out the latest electric bicycle from DYU. What we have here today, it's called the DYU Stroll One. So this is an affordable city e-bike that has a very attractive design. It's also very light. So the bike has a weight of under 20 kilos. So compared to most other city e-bikes that I got to try in the past, this is quite light. So if you need to take this up a set of stairs or something like that, it is quite light. We also have hydraulic disc brakes on the front and of course on the back and a 250 watt motor that's located in the rear wheel. With that being said, let's start by doing a bit of an unboxing just so I can show you how the bike comes packed in the box and what you have to do to get this ready and on the road. Alright, so the bike comes in a fairly big box obviously because the bike itself is fairly big but as I said, since the bike is not that heavy, the box uh, is not that heavy either. So you do have to do a bit of an installation when you first take this out of the box. So first of all, you have to put the front wheel together, you have to put the front mud guard together, you have to install the pedals, the seat here and also the handlebar. So it's not hard to do but the installation process will take you about 45 minutes because it is a bit time consuming but all in it is fairly easy to put this together taking a quick look at the bike i absolutely love the fact that the bike looks more like a regular bike than an e-bike with a lot of e-bikes these days they do seem to look like e-bikes well that's not the case with this one we get a very sleek design and the bike almost doesn't look like an e-bike so in the frame here, even though the frame is not that thick, we actually have the battery pack. The battery pack can also be removed. So if you want, you can charge this at home. You don't necessarily have to charge it in the bike and you don't have to take the bike um, upstairs, for example, to charge it. So the battery pack is removable. And if you're using the charger that comes in the box, you're going to be able to charge that from zero to 100 in about five to six hours. I also love the fact that the design is also very clean without any cables. The only cables you're going to find are at the top here, but either than that, there are no other cables anywhere. So I really love that about this bike. The bicycle is also equipped with puncture resistant tires. And that's definitely an important factor because you definitely don't want flat tires whenever you are riding to work. The tires are also from a good brand name and they also have really good grip on pavement. So even if you're going quick, you do have a really good grip and you always feel safe riding the bike. Talking about going fast, so the bike is equipped with hydraulic disc brakes on the front and of course on the back. I'm happy to say that the hydraulic disc brakes don't make any noise, well, aside from when uh, you're using them, of course, but uh, when you're riding normally, they don't squeak, they don't make any noises, so that's definitely a good thing. Now, this particular bike is also equipped with a speed sensor. Now, with most bikes that are equipped with speed sensors, you basically have to pedal a bit before that um, speed sensor kind of kicks in and the, the bike gives you power. Well, that's not really the case with this one. So, as soon as you push on the pedal, the bike will give you power. So, it kind of resembles a torque sensor in a way, but this is definitely a speed sensor. And in a way, I kind of like a bike like this because as soon as you push on the pedal you basically get the full power of the bike talking about power well the bike is powered by a 250 watt motor that's located in the rear wheel here this has a peak power of 500 watts now because this bike is road legal of course you're going to get that 250 watt motor here in the eu you basically cannot ride a bike on a public road unless it has a 250 watt motor so that's why this bike is equipped with a 250 watt motor as for range, all the manufacturer says that you can get somewhere between 60 to 100 kilometers on one charge. But I guess that really depends on the terrain that um, you're riding on, how hot it is outside or how cold it is outside, how heavy you are and so on. So a lot of factors um, that you have to take into consideration to talk about range. So nobody's going to get the same range. I may get like 40 kilometers, you may get like 80 kilometers. It really depends on the location where you're riding and the style of your riding, of course. On a flat surface, the bike has plenty of power and you're going to reach the top speed of the bike, which is 25 kilometers an hour, really fast. So the bike has plenty of power on flat surfaces. Now, when you do get to hills, I guess it really depends how steep the hill is. If you have like a tiny hill, no problem at all, you still have plenty of power. But if you're going to get to some very steep hills, of course, you still have a 250 watt motor. So the bike is not going to be able to help you that easily. So there are some limitations to a 250 watt motor. But if you want to be road legal, 
you're gonna have to have a 250 watt motor and this bike is exactly that a road legal bike with a 250 watt motor now the bike is also equipped with a seven gear shimano shifter so of course you can also ride this as a regular bike you don't actually have to use the motor you don't have to use power you can just ride this as a regular bike and as i said at the beginning of the video this is fairly light as well so if you just want to ride it as a regular bike you definitely can ride it as a regular bike i was also happy to see that um, the shifter um, system is um, well adjusted from the box so you don't actually have to do any adjustments um, you can shift gears up and down without any issues the bike has plastic mud guards on the back and on the front now it rarely rains here well it kind of looks like it's about to rain today but um, I haven't actually had a chance to ride the bike in the rain so I can't really tell you how well those uh, mud guards will protect you from splashing but they do seem like they would do a pretty decent job the seat here well it does have a lot of padding definitely not the most comfortable seat that I've tried but comfortable enough so you can ride for a couple of hours without um, any issues and um, then we are getting to the handlebar here so the handlebar is pretty wide the grips here don't move the brake levers are made out of uh, metal here we have our screen on the left hand side we have our bell here it does sound good for that and that's about it for the handlebar now even though the screen is tiny it shows you the speed it shows you how much battery you have and the assistance level that you have so for an e-bike more than enough i'm gonna say and just when i was saying that it almost never rains here it's actually started to rain so i guess i will be riding the bike uh, on a wet pavement when i'm heading back all right so on the front here we also have um, the headlight the headlight is bright enough so you can actually see it um, during the day and very bright at night so it can light the path um, ahead of you now unfortunately there is no rear light that comes um, out of the box so if you want a rear light you're gonna have to buy yourself one but at least those um, are pretty cheap all right so let me quickly show you how you use this bike it is extremely easy to use so first of all you have the power button right here you hold this press for about four seconds and then the screen comes on that means that the bike is on the screen here is actually a button as well so it has a button at the top and a button at the bottom that's how you change um, assistance levels for this test i guess we'll go in assistance level uh, two so as i mentioned earlier this bike is equipped with a speed sensor but this is a bit different than most other bikes that i tried because as soon as you push on the pedal the bike will give you power so this is more like a torque sensor in a way so i'll show you i'll be quiet for a second so as soon as you push on that pedal the bike um, gives you power we'll go to assistance level three so the bike will take us to about 25 kilometers an hour i don't really have to do any effort uh, pedaling and we'll also do a brake test somewhere around here and as soon as you start uh, pushing on that pedal the bike will give you power again and as you've noticed by now the bike is also extremely quiet so no squeaky noises no creaky noises no noises at all you do hear the motor um, a bit whenever uh, it's pushing you basically but either than that it is um, very very quiet we'll do another um, break to somewhere around here so after we pass this car basically So uh, we'll do a brake test somewhere around here. So if you want to lock those wheels, you definitely can. And as I said, as soon as you push on those uh, pedals, the bike will give you power. The shifter, as I mentioned earlier, uh, does work great as well. So no need for any adjustments or um, anything like that. So a nice comfortable ride uh, on the Stroll one here. The perfect uh, city e-bike really. So to quickly conclude this video, the DYU Stroll one offers really good value for a city e-bike. At this price you can't really find anything better. First of all the bike is quite light as I mentioned earlier so most other city e-bikes aren't as light as this one the motor has plenty of power for pretty much any situation the ride is also very quiet i find that very important for a bike because you don't want a bike that squeaks makes noises and all that 
you can comfortably ride the bike for a couple of hours, no problem. And overall, the bike does look really, really good as well. And as I said, I love the fact that it doesn't look like an e-bike. It looks more like a regular bike uh, than an e-bike. As always, there will be some links in the video's description so you can check this out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.